Alrighty, yes, I know you guys are probably so sick of just music being on the video and me even in the last video attempting to just put words on what's going on. Unfortunately, I am really busy and swamped with work. Um, and finally it's starting to calm down, but things were getting crazy there. It was like Christmas sales. Anyways, no one gives a crap about my real world life. Nonetheless, there is a lot going on within the park. So it looks like full time is back at Canada's Wonderland. In fact, it looks like um, we may have some people there filming some sort of promotional or taking some pictures of Canada's Wonderland. Um, it looks like that's the marketing team is my guess, but nonetheless, uh, there's much more than that going on. So it looks like they're getting ready for the vaccination site to be on site. So it looks like they're going to use the far left toll booth to bring you in towards these two vaccine areas there. It looks like they're setting it up almost like a drive through is my guess, based off of what I'm seeing there. Um, so you'll pull into two sides of that and the, the nurses and doctors will be in that center part uh, in those barriers um, and they'll go up to your window and administer the vaccine into your arm, similar to what we've seen in the States. Outside of that, there's lots of work going on in the park as well. Um, it looks like... Um, just lost my train of thought there, talking about the vaccinations. It looks like they have uh, the electrical company, as we saw in the last video, is back on site. Um, so they're starting and continuing work on the upgrading the park's electrical. It is a very large project that the park has been trying to do. The electrical grid at Canada's Wonderland has needed upgrades for quite some time. They've been plagued with problems from the electrical circuit over at Leviathan blowing up. Um, just to the park not having enough power and there being power outages on one half of the park and not the other. It's just always been a problem and it's finally being worked on. Mindbuster, still no activity there. Um, I've been trying to look closely to see if maybe I missed it. Maybe there is steel track on it. There is not yet. Um, so th still a work to be done over on Mindbuster. There are what looks like white trucks outside of some of the stores. Um, so I don't know if that's them stocking and getting ready. And some of the tables have been moved back into the park. Um, the Muskoka area of uh, Splashworks has been uh, getting ready a little bit as well. So the chairs are back out there. Um, uh, but the wave pool area is still a mess. The wave pool area looks like someone broke into the water park and kind of like terrorized it and knocked everything over and all that. It's quite funny, actually. It looks like a little bit of vandalism, but there's no vandalism. It just looks that way. But yeah, nonetheless, it looks like Wonderland's getting ready for some sort of opening. I do have to say, I don't think a May 14th opening is possible, um, but I really hope I'm wrong and people go, blah, 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 you're wrong. I really do hope that. I do think that Wonderland will open sometime around mid-June. That's going to be my personal guess, mid-June, July, and then worst case scenario, like absolute worst case scenario if our government is lying to us, um, about uh, the progress they're making sometime around August. So hoping for mid-June, it's going to look like June, July, or August. That's kind of my prediction uh, with what's going on with Wonderland. But we're going to keep a closer eye on this and definitely looking for the rides being untarped. And then trust me, we will be there filming ride testing as soon as it happens, just like last year. Uh, we'll be on site, not on site, sorry, off site, a little bit off to the left in the field, filming some of the rides testing for you guys as well. We got some new camera gear uh, to showcase as well for some sharper uh, video. Um, nonetheless, Again, very exciting. It's it's great to see any sort of progress whatsoever occurring at Canada's Wonderland getting ready for some sort of opening. Um, again, let's say absolute worst case scenario, we're being lied to and fooled by our government. Wonderland will open this year. No matter how slow uh, the vaccinations go, the vaccines are going to roll out. And I do strongly believe once we vaccinate the at-risk group, which is currently being vaccinated right now, I do think that places like this could start to open. Um, I know that's a, a pretty bold statement, but I do think that maybe we could start to see uh, some venues opening up in Ontario and going to lower framework as you see the older generation being vaccinated and protected against this virus. 
Um, I do want to go over. So uh, the parking lot way over there in the distance, maybe I'll insert an image super zoomed in with the HDR filter on it so you can guys can see. The bus route or the bus terminal is well underway over there as well as expanding Major McKenzie. So you'll see the employee entrance or exit out of the, the employee parking lot is currently closed because the bridge is demolished a little bit. Um, it's being upgraded because Major McKenzie is being widened. There's nothing else going on there. Don't worry about it. That's why we haven't been covering it. It's not really that important. Um, and I know you guys ultimately just care about Canada's Wonderland and not any of those utility works or upgrade projects with the city. Um, no evidence of any hotel on site still. No evidence of the hotel um, permits being renewed. That makes sense. It's been a really hard year for Cedar Fair. Um, and other chains, uh, you're going to see them probably focusing on slowly reintroducing themselves back into investments. You're not going to see anything this year. I don't think we'll see much um, announced for the 2022 season. Um, we'll be lucky, lucky if there is, but I just ultimately think that we won't see much at all. It just makes sense to wait an extra two years before you start to reinvest in the park. If we do, it'll be enhancements at best. Um, again, maybe I'll be wrong and fingers crossed I am, but that's just my two cents on the matter. And, uh, yeah, I definitely think we'll see Halloween Hunt and Winterfest for surely happening at Canada's Wonderland this season. And I'm super excited about it. I just want to return to normal, throw me on flight tech only for the rest of the season and I'll still be happy. I just have a new outlook on the park and I'm sure a lot of you do too. I just want to get back in there. I just want to take pictures. I just want to ride something. I just want to eat their food. I just want to smell those smells. I just want to wait in line for three hours for a ride that's 10 seconds long. I just want it all. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Bye.